Hello, beautiful people. We are Catherine Holloway. I'm Olatide Amadaro. Under the tutelage of Darwin Dejikula and Dr. Arado Robero, we are contributing to the development of an application called WhatFrog, where we'll be focusing on classifying frog species using Gaussian mixture modeling and locality sensitive hashing. The state of our ecosystem is not good, and it's seriously affecting the lives of the animals that live within it. We also live on this planet, so we really need to work towards a greener future. But in order to do this, we need some type of way to figure out where the areas of the worst pollution are. We need some type of bioindicator. A frog makes a great bioindicator. They have a permeable skin, which allows them to absorb water and oxygen, things they need to survive. But when they're living in polluted areas, they're absorbing toxins. So as the pollution rates are rising, the frog populations are declining. Now, citizen scientists have been working for years to monitor frog populations using their frog calls. But this process requires expensive equipment and a lot of time commitment. So this summer, we are contributing to the creation of an application that will automatically classify frogs using the device that's already in your pocket. Our data set from experimentation contains 226 frog calls across 15 species from Florida. The method is to take in the audio of a frog call and create a spectrogram for it. From the spectrogram, we pull out landmarks, these high peaks of energy. And from these, we extract features. And these features are what we use to classify the frog call using either locality-sensitive hashing or Gaussian mixture modeling. The process of locality sensitive action defines the feature vector as hash values from the relationship between the landmarks from both the reference and parent windows. The relationship is defined as a combination of the reference frequency and the difference between the reference and parent landmarks in the frequency and time domain. An instance will have this done for both a model and query observation data. The hash values are compared, and collided hash values will translate to the query observation data being labeled as the same as the model. The Gaussian mixture model is a probabilistic distribution where the mean is at the center of the data and the variance dictates how far spread out this data is. Well, when we're training one of these Gaussian mixture models, we take in all the frog calls from a certain species, then we extract features from the species, and these features are what we use to fit to a Gaussian mixture model. Now, when we're testing this, we take in a test call, we extract the same features, and we calculate the probability that that test call belongs to any of these models we already have. And the one that's the most probable becomes the model that fits. Classification of LSH produces confusion matrix. Ideally, the diagonal from the top left should contain the darker shades. Classification of LSH gave us a classification accuracy of about 48%. For GMM, we had a very similar confusion matrix. Our classification accuracy was 80%. In summary, to gather data about frog population, you have to go to a noisy environment. Right, and then you need expensive equipment and a ton of experience. Let alone the subjective classification you get when multiple people listen to the same frog call. Not anymore. This application will take away the subjective opinions, the expensive equipment, and all that training that was needed before. Now, you can take part in environmental conservation just using the device that's already in your pocket. Well, Katie, that's just fantastic. And that's all for us, folks. Thanks for watching and listening. Information in the description below.